Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was gonna make a video, I was not gonna make a video for this. I was just gonna explain to him how to do it. He was saying when he grabs the contour tool that everything's grayed out. And right here's the key, 29 objects selected on one layer. It can't, con it can't do that, so you have to do them individually or group them together. And this is exactly what he wants, or I think he wants. Uh, that contour might be a little bit too much. Let's go uh, 0 0.08, see what that looks like. But I'm not gonna worry about that 0 0.07. We'll go six and see what happens. That looks pretty good, because he wants it to stand off on a t-shirt, and he might want to fill all that up. but. I was just gonna explain that to him. Now you can group it all together. Let's back up here and take that contour off. You can group it all together by going to object and group or control G and then your contour will work. Now this particular eye is a little bit funny because in the T is too. Uh, the eye is going to be easy because we have a an eye that looks like that eye. So that's why I decided to make the video. Let's go up here and ungroup this. And let's grab it. And you can see this eye is made up of multiple points. So this thing is two and a half inches big. We're going to set our nudge factor on three. And here we go again. Uh, you need to set your... Duplicate distance on zero, zero. I don't think we're gonna duplicate anything, but if we did, it, that causes a problem. So I'm gonna take just that eye and I'm gonna move it out of the way. I didn't get it all, but I'll get it all this time. And there's actually one more little part right there, part of the eye. So we've got our figure. Now we're gonna take this eye and we're gonna make it, here we go. I'm gonna make a duplicate of it. So now it's exactly where I want it, and I'm gonna move that down. Now what we can do, because if we contour this guy, so we have to group it together, and we contour 0 0.06, we'll have to get our black background back. He's gonna put it on a black t-shirt, so I'm just going to go object order, put back a page, and you can see what's happening. It's not doing a good job. So let's back up here. Let's go ahead and put the back black background there so we can see it. But let's take this item and contour that 0 .06 in white. Now let's go to object and break contour apart. Let's take the orange out. Well, I really messed up because I've got a, let me back up here, go to break that contour apart and just get the orange. And that's how I would do it. Then I would grab this control G and I would put it in that spot and what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it right kind of back where it was, and if I would've used my nudge factor, I could put it right back where it was. So that's how I would have done the I. Now the T is gonna be a little bit more, a little bit harder, because we don't have a T of that text. Now if he wrote this text out, he'll, he'll probably know what the uh, text is so he could reduplicate that text. And that doesn't look half bad. You could probably even clean that up. Let's see if we can't clean that up. Go to object, break contour apart, turn it into a, yeah, we'll be able to clean it up. Just start deleting some nodes, make this a line, right click. So you could clean up this contour after the fact and make it look a little more presentable. And you might even want some of that uh, offset stuff. But since the, all the other letters are straight up and down, 
I would do all the other letters like that. And I think it's going to work out pretty good then. But if he has the text, he could start over. Anyway, I hope that it helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching. And then you could just do the letters individually and just pick your thickness and you're well on your way to, I guess, printing a t-shirt and making it the, the gold or the orange stand out. And then just make sure you adjust this eye uh, between there. So if you use your nudge distance, you can nudge that right back to where it was because I'm a little bit off probably. You can see it right up there. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.